What's going on people? Today I've decided we are no longer going to live in denial that we have been stuck in since the end of Alpha 1 last year. Because I have decided that I no longer believe that Alpha 2 is going to show up in 2022. We are now a little less than halfway through the year and not even a word yet on the next test. And although this is not confirmed and Intrepid is not giving us release dates because they might have dropped the ball on that in the past a few times, I'm still convinced that it's not gonna happen. And I know what you're thinking. Richie, there's seven months left in the year. You're just being stupid. Well, for those of you who want to keep living in denial, let's break down the facts. First is spot testing. After Alpha 1 ended, Intrepid opened up this nice spot testing section of Discord for all of us in Alpha 1 who can test upcoming features that they might need spot testing here and there on leading up to Alpha 2. And it's not currently under NDA, so I can talk about that existing. You can all probably see it. I don't really know. But there's not really anything to talk about. It's been silent ever since it was made and Intrepid isn't going to just launch Alpha 2 for the world to see without doing some bigger tests, especially when they have huge features such as naval, the new combat changes, the final stages of nodes, and all of the other classes and their augmentations. Alpha 2 is huge and it is really supposed to define what Ashes is all about and they aren't just going to launch that looking extremely unpolished. Obviously it's still an alpha so there will be some bugs and unfinished features, but it's supposed to give us a better understanding of what we could expect and i'm willing to bet that spot testing will start once the combat is fleshed out and not before then and this is probably the biggest hurdle intrepid is working on as it's one of the most defining features in the game everything you do in an mmo for the most part has combat involved whether you're gathering things you're fighting off mobs to get to the things you want to gather for crafting raids you're obviously combat pvp you're in combat naval content you're in combat the only thing that isn't in combat is fish unless they have fish that pop up and attack you for some reason. So they're not going to show us anything gameplay wise and they're not going to let us get into the game until combat is working. But we were at least a month out on that for this reveal, but realistically probably a few months before they even show us combat in a live stream. Speaking of live streams, let's talk about the live stream Intrepid has done lately. Although they are showing us some really cool features such as character creator and new races, some of these races being shown are still in concept stage, which doesn't mean they don't have an in-game render of them, but they aren't rendered to the point where Intrepid is ready to show them off. We've only even seen customization for for humans when all the races are meant to be present in Alpha 2. So obviously we got a few races to go before Alpha 2 unless they stagger them and add them in as the Alpha goes on because Alpha 2 is supposed to be persistent up through the betas. I just mentioned this earlier, but combat is a big thing as well. They need to figure out what they are doing with combat before they can build up the classes around them. I'm sure they're still working on spells and animations and who's gonna do what, but how exactly these spells play out is probably probably being held up a lot by figuring out how exactly they want their hybrid combat system to work. Because they're not going to go through and develop all of these classes spells one way and then decide to change the combat and have to redo all of these spells. They're probably going to put off how they develop the classes until they have a more finite combat system in mind. Also, if you were there for the lead up for Alpha 1, Alpha 1 had a giant build up and by giant I mean over a year Alpha 1 was being teased before we actually got to play it. The 4K hour-long video that Steven posted, that was posted in 2020 over a year before Alpha 1 actually started. Intrepid started dropping class previews seven months before Alpha 1, and we have seen none of that yet. The closest thing we've seen is we got our first article on features on the website in who knows how long about the event system they talked about in the live stream. Part of that due to COVID and them not being in the studio, and it's harder to get those things out when you can't really work as a team as easy and you don't have to zoom in and whatever you people do when you work remote. I never had that, so I don't know how it works. But I'm sure you will have an idea that Alpha 2 is getting closer and closer because as we get to that point where Intrepid is ready to let the next wave of players jump into testing, there's gonna be a buildup on features. Intrepid's gonna show the rest of the classes. We'll probably see some Rangers and some Fighters, hopefully the Bard. We're gonna see some in-game models of the new dwarf design, elves that aren't concept art, probably the Tolna 
Tolnar. Originally, the Tolnar were supposed to be in Alpha 2, but we haven't even seen them yet, and I'm not convinced we are going to see them until the betas at this point. But there's a whole bunch of stuff that Intrepid hasn't shown us, and that's kind of the thing with the open development they're doing. You can get a good idea at what they're working on and where they are at. We haven't even seen any naval content yet, and that is going to be a big feature. All they've shown us is models of ships and things like that. But again, they're not going to just drop Alpha 2 on a whim and be like, all right, it's ready, jump in. There's going to be a build up to it. They're going to start getting people hyped when what they're showing, because Alpha 2, again, is showing what Ashes of Creation is meant to be. Alpha 2 is going to be their big kickoff of where people decide, is this the MMO for me? And I guarantee you're going to see a much stronger push with Alpha 2 than you would normally see in regular games in this Alpha stage, because there is not going to be an NDA on Alpha 2. There might be an NDA on the spot testing leading up to it, and I honestly would be surprised if there wasn't, but once Alpha 2 launches, like Alpha 1, there is no NDA, and it's going to be persistent. These servers are going to be live through beta, so everything after that is shown to the public, and they want to get it right. It's not going to be perfect. Like I said, it's still an Alpha. There's still bugs. It's still going to be incomplete, but they're going to give you a much more polished Alpha 2 than you would expect when you hear the words Alpha. That's at least my assumption. So anyways, what are your thoughts? Do you think we're actually going to see Alpha 2 this year? And if you do, let me know in the comments why, because I don't really believe it anymore. I'm expecting that we're going to see Alpha 2 in spring of 2023, and that's going to lead up to the betas, hopefully in fall of 2023 with a... 2024 release date i don't know i'm just throwing out numbers here i really have no idea because it's really hard to tell where exactly intrepid is at with all of this so again let me know your thoughts let me know when you expect to see alpha 2 otherwise if you're new to ashes at all and have yet to make an account feel free to use my referral link in the descriptions and the comments below all the money that comes from that referral program is going to go to benefit this channel in the long run once we can actually access it and see what's going on with that otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.